Hello and welcome to my video on movement preparation. You can also think of this as a way to warm up while improving your mobility and getting ready for your workout. This is called the RAMP method. R stands for raise, A stands for activate, M stands for mobilize, and P stands for potentiate. First, you're gonna raise your heart rate and increase your blood flow. Then you're gonna activate the muscles that you're gonna be using during your workout. Then you're gonna mobilize those same muscles and then you're gonna potentiate the body to get ready for your exercise. Raising your heart rate can be pretty simple. You can do this on a stationary bike, a treadmill, an elliptical. You can jog in place, you can jump rope, you can do jumping jacks. Anything that's gonna elevate your heart rate and increase your blood flow is gonna be fine for this category. Next, you're gonna activate the muscles that are gonna be used during your workout. So this is a little bit more workout specific, and a lot of times these exercises are done with resistance bands. So if you have a lower body workout coming up like deadlifts, squats, or even running, you could activate your muscles by doing some banded hip thrusts where you do a body weight hip thrust and you put the band around your calves. That way you're activating the muscles by keeping the band spread apart and you're using your glutes to thrust your hips up and then lower back down. You could also do something like banded lateral walks. If you're doing an overhead push or pull workout, you can do an exercise like this. Notice that I'm using the band and I'm pulling apart and I'm going up and down through this range of motion. I'm activating the muscles in my upper back and my shoulders. Next, we're gonna mobilize your muscles. A couple of examples for mobilization would be a squat with an overhead reach, uh, reverse lunges with an overhead reach. You could do the world's greatest stretch. You could do thoracic rotations with a lift off any type of exercise that's gonna move your joints and muscles through the range of motion that's gonna prepare them for the workout ahead. Last, we're gonna potentiate, which is gonna be very exercise specific or workout specific. So this is gonna to start to create power in the muscles that you're going to use for your workout. Say you have a bench press day. You are gonna to wanna to do something like push-ups, explosive push-ups, uh, if you have a squat day, you're going to want to do something like jump squats. If you're a beginner, you can do body weight squats. If you have an overhead push day, you can do something like med ball tosses, just a real strong, powerful med ball toss, catch it and then repeat. When you're potentiating, you're going to keep the reps low, something like five reps at a time, maybe two sets. If you're really feeling froggy, you can do three, but you want the reps low and the power explosive. So if you're doing a chest workout, again, you are going to do something like push-ups. If you are a beginner, you can even do modified push-ups. Maybe do them a little bit quicker than you're gonna do them in your workout. If you are more advanced, you can do explosive push-ups, but only five reps. If you're doing something overhead, you can do med ball tosses overhead. If you're doing something like squats, you can do squat jumps. Keep the reps low, keep the focus on the power. So just one at a time, you're gonna take a step here, you're gonna squat down and explode up. Then you're gonna reset. Take 10, 15, 30 seconds. Come back up, get ready for your jump, explode. That's potentiating. It's gonna be very specific to the exercises that you're doing in your workout. This is the method that I use to warm up for myself and all of my clients. And instead of thinking of it being a warm up, think of it being movement preparation. You are preparing your body for movement. You're gonna perform better and you're gonna recover better.